a lot of groups are fighting themselves. Uh, for some years, uh, something like two years or so, the, the matters now are not uh, uh, stable enough. And uh, a lot of people saying we are the right uh, wing or the right uh, group and we have the right opinion and so. Uh, Libya are, uh, is neighboring to Egypt and uh, they're trying to make some uh, uh, understanding or so or coordinating for the steps uh, or for the forward steps. Uh, so uh, the Western powers have some uh, very important interest in them and the, above of all the oil interest. Mm. Uh, uh, Libya is very rich, uh, a rich company and uh, have some a lot of uh, oil so the Western uh, countries trying to uh, benefit from uh, that. Uh, uh, in the in the past, the the head, the Western power and the NATO, has some strikes, air strikes yes, on, on Libya. over Libya and inside there, but uh, it doesn't, it wasn't uh, successful strikes to put an end for these uh, problems inside. Problems. Actually, the international uh, community contributed to what's taking place now in Libya. Yeah, I think yeah, I think so. If we can make some similar way uh, about uh, Libya, I think there's some similarity between Libya and Nigeria. Nigeria yeah. is a rich company and uh, uh, poor people like... And uh, rich in oil as well. Oil, oil companies like uh, Shell and so. Uh, the very rich company and one of, one of the OPEC company. Yes. And they are s uh, ex exporting uh, oil to the world. But uh, after all, uh, there is a lot of problems inside, a lot of poor people. Libya uh, on the same side and uh, uh, trying to put uh, or to look at the future, uh, optimistic uh, future, and trying to uh, going outside the terrorism and go to the successful econ economy or so. But uh, a lot of groups coming from uh, the East and West, uh, actually, to say that we are the leaders and we can make the successful way to the future inside Libya. Sir, I want to go back uh, again to the creation of a group like Daesh, the, the, the very formation of a group like Daesh, because there are so many theories regarding the formation of so many groups that are basically made of militants who carry, uh, or who, who are performing under the slogan of Islam, unfortunately, uh, around the world. We have seen in the 1990s the formation of Abu Sayyaf group in the Philippines. We have seen Boko Haram in Nigeria. We have seen um, uh, so we have seen Daesh. Yeah. We have seen Al Qaeda. We have seen so many. Uh, we have seen the Shabab in, in Somalia. Somalia. So uh, if we take a look at around the, the globe, we will find those people acting uh, or claiming to be Muslims and acting under the name of Islam. So basically, they are trying to send a message that Islam is a religion of terror and so on and so forth. How do you see this? What is the reason for forming such groups? And how should the world react? Actually, Hala, it's a war against Islam itself. It is a war against Islam. Yeah, if we look at the past, to the past, uh, we can hear about the uh, Mujahideen in the 1979 between uh, the Soviet Union uh, at that time and uh, uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Afghanistan uh, in uh, that time as trying to uh, have some independence uh, and uh, some uh, independent way from the United uh, Soviet Union or so. We heard about the United States were, su were supporting uh, those uh, Mujahideen and financing them and uh, send the weapons to them and so. From that time and maybe before that until now, there are a lot of groups saying that we are Muslims and uh, they are supporting terrorists uh, actually. Uh, there's some think, think tanks in, uh, the West in some particular Western companies like uh, uh, England, like uh, United States or so. Uh, trying to uh, study all the time how uh, the brain, uh, the Muslim brain, in my opinion, uh, the Muslim brain I, are working. And uh, they're saying that the Muslim countries has, are uh, rich people and are rich regimes. We can interest and benefit from that. Uh, they are trying to uh, support some particular uh, people uh, there, particular groups, to make some kind of uh, chaos, if we can say or the creative uh, chaos, uh, as uh, Condoleezza Rice has announced uh, once, uh, one day. So uh, this chaos, they are benefit from, ben uh, benefiting from... She, call, she called it creative chaos. Yes, creative chaos. Yeah, uh, creative chaos uh, in uh, their uh, thinking is uh, we, how we can 
uh, benefit from any kind of uh, uh, inside uh, 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 anything like uh, chaos inside any countries like Egypt, Copts and uh, mm. Muslims uh, in uh, Libya. In uh, A lot of people in, in Sudan, they, they have some success mm. when they uh, put an end for uh, Sudan uh, as a as whole country, country as and now there are two countries now. Mm. They are trying to uh, make the same way in Iraq. They have some successes there, uh, and uh, now you know, Iraq, we Actually can say... Actually, in Libya, it's divided Lib now, and we have two the parliaments. East, east and yes, west, yes, yes, we have two parliaments, and uh, the two governments. Uh, the, uh, yes, mm. and they are heading to civil war. That's right. So how can you tell us more about the situation in Libya, and to what extent terrorist groups are controlling areas there? Uh, actually, they are controlling a lot of areas now. I think uh, Sirte uh, and Tarablus, the, the capital, actually are under their control. And uh, uh, Derna or Derma, uh, where the people or uh, Daesh were uh, slaughtered or so. Uh, but uh, now uh, the Egyptians are in Benghazi. So we have two states, we can say, inside one state in uh, Libya. But I think if we don't interfere, all the Arab world are interfering inside Libya, we'll soon, the matters we'll will two be Libyans. worse. <laughs> yeah. Two Libyan countries very soon. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are actually two uh, countries. But now uh, the first country are the uh, legit legitimate one, and the world are uh, saying that this is the, uh, the legitimate one. But the other one are uh, uh, a terroristic uh, state. And if we uh, let it now uh, working like that and slaughter the people, kill the people from all over the world, uh, I think the matter will be uh, going to be worse. Mm. Uh, so all the Arab, Arab world and the Arab League have to interfere in this uh, uh, kind of... The Arab uh, League yesterday, Chief, called for a joint, to activate the joint defense agreements between uh, the all Arab countries to fight these uh, terror, terrorist groups and to count on themselves, not on the West. Yes, I think diplomatic uh, uh, steps have to be uh, uh, put stronger like that. I think our uh, uh, foreign minister, uh, Samah Shukri, has been sent, has been sent to New Washington York to New York. Uh, put some negotiations or discussions with the uh, Security uh, Council and so. Uh, but uh, now the Arab world it has to interfere because I think, as I have heard yes, uh, today, that the European Union has announced that it will not interfere for the right now. I mm. think because the, the, the matters are Egyptian, are Arab now, uh, Arab one. No, uh, the uh, Western interest uh, is not uh, on the uh, plan right now, for these days. Actually, actually, they threatened Italy and they threatened Brussels. So yes, they slaughtered Japanese, American, uh, uh, and, and so uh, mm. like that. But now, I think the matters now are making some targets. They are sending a message that Egypt has to uh, put their uh, reaction. Yes. They want to uh, look at the, the Egyptian reaction and how the war and how the matters will be uh, working uh, for the uh, next days and so. If uh, Egypt is making more than uh, once or more than one airstrikes, uh, the matters will be changed all over the region. Mm. And if we, uh, Egypt w uh, was successful to make some supporting for the, uh, the Arab world, uh, like the defense uh, coordination or some troops uh, here and there. Uh, all these steps, the, the West are looking uh, uh, to, to see if Egypt is successful to make some gathering of these coalition. older yeah, But coalition. isn't it in the best interest of Western countries and the United States as well to uh, hit a, a group like Daesh? I mean, is it in their best interest to form like some sort of coalition or alliance with Egypt in fighting, because they claim to be fighting terrorism all, all over the world. Am I right? Yeah. So perhaps this is at least an opportunity to show up or, or to show off uh, in front of the whole world that uh, a country like the United States, the uh, the protector of democracy and the country that is defending democracy and fighting terrorism. Perhaps this is a chance for the United States at least to appear like the protector of the world and take part actually in. Um, in, or at least cooperating with Egypt in, in fighting um, Daesh. How yes. do you see that? That's right, uh, but in my analysis, I think that it is better the, for the United States and the Western countries, Western powers, to uh, look for some time uh, what Egypt is going to do uh, for the uh, coming future uh, days and weeks and uh, months maybe. They may be interfered, but not now, not the right now. After some days or some weeks, 
maybe they are thinking to interfere, but they, they want. Very important for them to see how Egypt is uh, putting the whole and how, how do you plan. see the initial reaction of Egypt? To yes, mm -hmm. this is, the, uh, I mm -hmm. think, in my analysis, they want to uh, see how the reaction of, uh, uh, for Egyptian government and for the Egyptian army. If we read about the Egyptian army, this is the number eight worldwide, yes. and they have a, a lot of weapons uh, for Egypt, and uh, Egypt, I think, in my uh, analysis again, uh, doesn't uh, use uh, all our armies, our uh, weapons, Capability. until now, prob uh, probably. Uh, until yesterday, we have new uh, deal with uh, France French, about uh, yeah. Rafale, I was coming to that. Yeah, fighting planes and something like that. So uh, all of these weapons, uh, uh, Egypt want to uh, use them. I hmm. think uh, we have some uh, maneuvers and uh, uh, here and there, but we don't uh, make any war, any fight, any there. So uh, the whole world, the Western powers, the United States want to say how strong uh, the uh, Egypt is at this uh, particular time. And how if we uh, maybe uh, we can say as a trial or something like uh, uh, exper experiment for Egypt, if we face Israel, uh, how, we, uh, how strong we are. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, the Western powers want to say to see Egypt how strong it is if we uh, going inside a war or so. Uh, so Daesh is uh, some kind of uh, test for Egypt, uh, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, France uh, and Egypt urged the UN uh, Security Council to uh, meet and mal fresh measures against those terrorists. What new measures should be adopted uh, by the UN Security Council, like freezing their assets if they know the places of these assets or? any new measures to uh, fight them? Uh, I think uh, 10 years ago, I think that the United States and Britain has done some particular kind of uh, steps uh, to freeze uh, the assets of the terrorist group and uh, maybe some people uh, are not allowed to uh, go inside uh, America or uh, Britain or uh, some particular states in Europe. Uh, they have some steps but uh, uh, not all the countries and not all the, uh, uh, the Security Council are going to use them yes. against on the face of uh, this terrorist uh, group. Uh, so uh, they have to uh, make these uh, successful steps against any terrorist yes. group. But I think if the regime or if the government of the United States or the uh, European country or so are announcing that they are against terrorists, there is companies uh, of the... Uh, 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 weapons companies on or so, they are uh, multinational and they have very strong uh, uh, probabilities and they can do uh, more than or they are beyond the, uh, what is announced, what's announced by the government yes. uh, in the United States. So uh, the companies are uh, very active inside the region uh, while the governments uh, are doing the other way. Uh, they are telling the world that they are against we are against the terrorist terrorism, but the companies have to work and have to do its mission missions inside. Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Amir Najib, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And now uh, we'll go for a short break and visit uh, one of the touristic places with our colleague Dina Yunis. So stay tuned.